to draw a humpback whale. Draw a kind of a slightly curving line like that, and then a kind of a curve underneath, getting thinner towards the end. And I'm going to split this roughly into thirds to get a feel for where I am, like that. So we've got the tail here, which isn't a tail. I'll tell you about that later. <laughs> and uh, and then here, that's going to come around about there. We've got the blowhole or nostril about there. We're going to have the 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 little humpback bit about there and then this is now going to come come back quite sharply there and then it's going to then come down to about this third line here quite deep curled around and off like that so long down deep and across and then we're coming forward the dentist would say that the humpback whale has an underbite. So that's going to come around like that. And then we're going to want these extraordinary flippers that they have. So bring that around in a curve. And then it's kind of an S shape there. And then we're going to want these to... They kind of... <laughs> this extraordinary knobbly kind of leading edge to them so that's going to be like that and maybe a little bit maybe a little bit wider but not a lot more and again on the other side that's going to be coming noble 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 kind of like that and then here this is where we're going to have the eye it's an extraordinary place to put the eye and we need to fit the tail in here all this week i have been doing videos showing you how to draw dolphins whales narwhals things and I know it's so difficult not to call it a tail, but it's not a tail. This thing actually that wants to come more out there. The whales don't have tails, they have flukes. Millions of years ago they walked upon the earth and they got bored and they went back into the ocean. <laughs> flukes go that way, fishes' tails go that way, so they are not fish. Now what we want to do is put some little knobbly things in here first because they are very knobbly. And if you do them just across the kind of line there, then we can draw the mouth all the way down and around and then just kind of dot it away into the distance there. And then the blowhole's going to kind of come there. And then we can draw the back coming into the little humpy bit there and as you see some kind of spiny bits come down there like that and then we can bring the mouth around and in between those little bits that you've drawn previously and then they will come to the flipper so let's do these flippers and that's going to kind of come around there and then it's kind of wobbly and knobbly <laughs> and all the way up there like that and then again we got that big one and then it's wobbly 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 knobbly probably a bit in the bottom of the camera there isn't it yeah and then we can give it this kind of all-seeing eye that they seem to have <laughs> like that and then we can put in more knobbly bits so these are just like letter c's very simple and then we can draw the rest so that's going to come in slightly and then sort of towards there and then we want to curve that backwards into the lobes of the fluke that will come out here this is a lobe and into the fluke like that and that can come back there slightly when you are sure that the ink is dry you can then erase all those pencil lines like they were never there and then we want to put these um, lines in here so these are little folds and pleats in the uh, throat which allow it to expand when it takes in those great big mouthfuls of krill and shrimps and things that it likes to eat like that and then i think we can put a little bit of shading in there and a little bit of shading in there and i'm going to put some shading across the front of the flipper like that and then they're kind of marked it's quite hard to do the marks really I'm going to put a little bit of thickness down there like that on the flipper 
and then I think all I really need to do is to add some C and things like that. If you're still watching, you obviously like drawing, so click that subscribe button and keep coming back to draw stuff real easy with more drawings every single week. And um, the, all this week I've been doing cetaceans, which are whales and dolphins and things like that. Click up here for the playlist. And in the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.